Let's quickly talk about how to get off check systems and be bankable again. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about how to get up check system and be bankable again. This is important. Check system, okay? If you have been denied a checking or a savings account at a bank or credit union, it's likely due to a negative listing on check systems. People don't people talk about it, but people don't really understand what it is. So when we talk about tech systems, we are speaking about a consumer reporting agency that consists of a network of financial institutions that keep track of individuals who have imperfect banking records. Okay, so this is just um, an association of banks and credit unions and insurance companies for that matter that actually just report to themselves or report to that database any action that you have made that is not good based on the banking right on the banking uh, regulations okay so the biggest problem with the uh, check system is that negative checking checking account information is generally lumped into two very broad categories that's the big problem so first they have account abuse and they have suspected fraud so account abuse is when a bank believes that a consumer has not complied with the terms of that account for example unpaid overdrafts or unpaid fees and fraud includes instances that the bank or credit union says were intentional acts of consumer fraud for example check fraud okay so this major categories account abuse and fraud are derived from actions or behaviors a checking account customer unknowingly engages in okay it's very important so you may have negative information in your file if your account was in involuntarily closed due to unpaid account balances, such as in, from an overdraft. You were suspected of fraud related to a checking account. You had a joint account with someone else who had this type of problems. Okay, the retailers reported you for balance checks. This is important. Several financial institutions have placed inquiries about you short periods of time such as you have made an attempt to open several accounts in a specific time frame think about that and you have multiple check orders in a short period of time okay and other information that may be in, in uh, a check system report if you have a list of uh, prior accounts and contact information for the providers of information about those accounts whether there was a negative closing balance associated with any of the reported accounts the current status of uh, any reported negative balances paid or unpaid reason codes to indicate why an account was closed with a negative balance and information from public records so if your job is to get up check system the first thing you need to do is, is to request a report right think about it how can you act on something if you have no information so you got to have the information you got to get that information you want to request your report okay so you want to get your check systems report to determine why a bank did not approve your application and the report will show a breakdown of specific accounts closed outstanding debts bounced checks and more so remember that you are eligible for a free copy of your report once every 12 months okay you can request your re your report in one of three ways there are three ways you can actually call so you call check systems at 1-800-428-9623 1-800-428-9623 this is this is actually an automated voice mess messaging system but just leave your info and they'll get back to you okay so that that's number one number two you can visit the website so you go to uh to uh, checksystem.com you go to the request report section and you fill out the consumer disclosure form so this is this is the second uh, way and uh, the third way is you can actually write to check systems attention consumer relations 7805 hudson road suites 100 
Woodbury, Minnesota, 55125. So this is uh, how you can do it. Again, the number is the number. The address is Check Systems, Attention Consumer Relations, 7805 Hudson Road, Suite 100, Woodbury, Minnesota, 55125. So this is important. So once you do this, you got to have a you you have a better a better idea of what's really going on, right? Let me ask you a question. Big decision time. Big decision time. Let's say that you send everything to them. They'll get back to you. Okay. They'll send you the report. So once you have the report in front of you, I want you to write it down. I want you to write these things down. You want to look for errors in the following areas, dates, bank names, reasons you were reported, the amounts reported, the age of records. Remember that check systems cannot include most negative information that's more than seven years old, but typically they will remove once it's five years old. So you want to dispute anything that is not 100% correct. You want to dispute errors with check systems or with the bank. Okay, you got to be very strategic here. Speaking about disputing, let me just, uh, I want to really uh, talk more about this. You want to dispute errors. So there is a process in place that you got to follow and you got to use the dispute process to get removed from check systems. So how does that work? Well, very simple. If you find information that you believe is wrong, you want to gather supporting docu documents such as payment records or bank statements. This is important. Don't ju don't just, you know, go there and just say, listen, I think this is wrong with no proof. No, you, you got to back it up. You better back it up. So you need to go to check systems website. There is a, a section called dispute information. You go there and you can submit your dispute. You can do it online. Okay. Again, you, you always have three ways with uh, check systems. You can do it online on the website. You will be taken to a form to fill out in uh, an area where you can upload file to support the claim. So once you're ready, just click submit at the bottom of the page. It's fine. Everything goes. They will study. They have about, they will review your uh, dispute. It takes about seven days, depending on cyclicality. If they have a lot of uh, disputes during that time, it might take 14 days. So that's the first time online, or you can do it via mail or fax. Okay. I've given you uh, the information, the same data that you just submitted online. You can fax it over to them or you can mail it to them. Okay. You can fax it to 602-659-2197, 602-659-2197. And uh, the third way is you can just, uh, so the address, I've already given you the address, right? Not a problem there, but you can, the third way is to do it by phone. So if you have already received a copy of your check system report, you can speak to a, rep a representative at 1-800-513-7125. 1-800-513-7125. This is kind of important because especially if you don't have supporting documents, you want to talk to someone, that's fine. But please remember that you cannot make disputes involving fraud or identity theft by phone. Okay. So it's totally up to you how quickly you want to get this done, how quickly you want to um, get to the bottom of this issue, but you got to take action. Okay. Don't, don't even try to hire a company to do that. Sometimes on the internet, you can see this sort of uh, letters asking you that they can actually take care of your check system records for you. They can clean it for you. Don't, don't fall for that. Those are things you can do yourself. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars for someone to take care of it for you. No. One thing you can also do is to confront the bank. Yeah. I'm not asking you to start a conversation on the negative side. No, I'm just saying that if you are very sure that an error was made on your record, then you can really uh, just talk to the bank, talk to them politely. The thing here is that bank managers have more power than you may think. Often banks report customers in the overly broad categories of account abuse or fraud when no such actions were ever intended by the bank customer. Think about it. If you, if you are a big bank, you have hundreds of thousands of customers, chances are errors can happen, right? So you want to talk to the bank. You want to really uh, have a conversation. If you have proof, please bring it. 
if you are even uh, if you have uh, a big national bank that has a branch in your area just go to the branch be presentable have a conversation be very quiet be very forceful also no need to shout okay this is important because this may have an impact on your ability to borrow in the future because if you don't have a bank account most lenders want you to have a bank account money 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 right it's important so there is a direct correlation between your check systems record and your ability to get a credit card to get it to get insurance to uh to to get a loan yeah to be able to find an apartment all these things are linked you might be thinking well you know we're not speaking here about credit uh, we're not speaking about credit score i understand you however if you have a clean check systems report you're able to have a bank account if you have a clean bank account if you have a bank account you can engage in most um, in uh, economic transactions right such as uh, borrowing such as having a credit card a debit card so those are important okay and one thing i also want to say is that you also need to be very you need to prepare when you go to the branch or when you call someone over the phone you need to to, to have a clear a clear strategy for example let's say they tell you well this this incident happened five years ago well you might be able to say listen this happens five years ago but i'm a new person now i have a job i am financially safe i'm financially stable this happened because i was young or i was just going through a, a rough patch you need to be able to back up what you're at, what you uh, what happened you need to contextualize the conversation i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sudi Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about how to get off check systems. And uh, I'm just giving you a few ideas, a few things you can try to get off that database, okay? You don't want to be there, okay? The, you can also try to file a complaint. So when we talk about filing a complaint, in other words, you might actually, you can sue the bank or sue check systems. But let's talk about what constitutes acceptable evidence acceptable proof check system can provide several forms of acceptable proof including a copy of the canceled check or a copy of the original banking contract you sign when you open the bank account if they cannot provide proof the relevant information must be removed from your report this is important so the burden of the burden of proof is on check system okay it's important having said that the check systems dispute process can be complicated if you don't know what you're doing okay it's important that's why I'm, I'm just educating you in this show so you really understand the things you need to do okay and uh big decision time are you currently having a problem with check system do you have a, a negative check systems report or record if you do then you need to have you, you need to find the first of all you need to prepare yourself you need to um have the documentation that is needed the, you need to have all the proof okay you also need to understand that you can always file a complaint with the bank regulatory agency find out who regulates the bank more than likely your state's website will let you know the department in charge of banking so at the federal level you can contact the federal deposit insurance corporation the fdic they do have a consumer response center that is responsible for investigating all types of consumer complaints about fdic supervised institutions and re and they can respond to whatever complaints you have okay and the consumer financial protection bureau also handles bank complaints so you really need to uh, do a little bit of uh, digging at the federal level and at the state level if you are dealing with a credit union because when we talk about check systems we are speaking about not only banks but also credit unions so you want to find out you want to do the same thing find out who regulates the credit union federally chartered credit unions are regulated by the national credit union administration while state chartered credit unions are regulated at the state level okay so this is something you need to be uh you need to be aware of and one thing i also want to say is that at the end of the day 
if you have uh, the opportunity to do things cordially, you have the opportunity to do things uh, amicably, try to go the friendly way, always. It saves time, it saves money, and you don't want to burn bridges, you never know. You also want to be proactive, okay? What I'm trying to say here is that you want to follow up on your claim. So if you hear back from checks, let's say you just dispute an item, you don't like the item, you want them to remove it and something happens, whatever. If you hear back from check systems within the 30 day time frame with a generic confirmation of the negative item, you will need to request verification from the original bank as well as check systems. So what I'm trying to say here is that you want to put the burden of proof on them. Okay, they were the one who created a profile for you in check systems. So they have to show you that you indeed were wrong. Okay, don't take don't take no for an answer. You want them to prove to you that their no is indeed a no. Okay, so you want to uh, simultaneously here, simultaneously follow up on your claim with the check systems, but also the bank. Okay, this is important, and uh, you know we want to send them like two three dispute letters but again i'm not telling you to abuse the system you got to be sure that this is a mistake or the um the the uh the the statute of limitations has expired in other words five years or seven years have passed and uh this incident that happened in your financial life a few years ago is now part of history okay so you got to be sure you got to be you got to have you got to file a legit dispute don't abuse the system. So you can send dispute letter number one, dispute letter, letter number two, letter number three, and you want to constantly be on the phone until you get what you are asking for, which is they have to give you a clean record. Okay. And you can even mail a letter stating your intent to sue. Yeah. You want to send a letter to the bank, letting them know that you intend to sue within 30 days owing to their failure to comply with the FCRA. This is important. There's something called FCRA and they have to act, and you also have the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act and the bank and the and credit systems and check system rather should comply with those regulations. Okay. You want to give them the option to delete all records of the debt and remove you from check systems in order for you to drop the lawsuit. In many cases, this simple step based on our analysis is all that is required to get the bank to remove the negative information so they can avoid being sued. You have to understand banks don't like negative publicity, so they're not going to risk spending uh, thousands of dollars on a single lawsuit from a single customer. It just doesn't make sense for them from uh, a reputational uh, perspective, but also from a business perspective. And last but not the least, folks, we are still having a conversation about um, how to get off check systems, right? This is important. But I really want you to be responsible. I'm speaking about being, being financially responsible. How did you get on that list in the first place? How did you get on check systems in the first place? Because you were not financially responsible. Talk to me. Hello? Hello? Right? So let's try to avoid those mistakes. Things happened in the past. Okay, that's fine. All right. So you want to start by paying off your debts. If your report is accurate and you owe money, just pay it. If your budget is tight, you want to ask your creditors if they'll be willing to settle for less than the debt amount. Okay. It's important. You you really just want to, if you have, a, if you have, a, let's say you have accumulated non-sufficient funds, fees in your checking accounts, just, uh, just negotiate it you want to ask creditors to remove information okay once you have repaid your debt ask the collection agency or other creditors including the bank to update your file on check systems you want to get payoff information in writing and keep track of receipts or other documents that show that you have paid the debts this is very important you can also just wait until the record drops off the database because it, you, as I, I was just telling you the the record the statute of limitation is five to seven years so sometimes you just gotta be patient okay you gotta be patient so and what you want to do in the meantime is there are what they call second chance checking accounts 
And so these accounts are designed for people with bad credit or banking histories. And although they generally have monthly fees you, you cannot avoid, they can help you rebuild your financial history and make you eligible for a standard bank account, usually within a year. So we are speaking here about 12 months, okay? You wanna give it a, a good 12 months and that's it. And also when it comes to credit cards, there are ways you can actually participate in the economy. You can uh, have something called prepaid credit cards or prepaid debit cards. You want to have a prepaid card with the MasterCard or Visa logo? That's fine too. And this spending cards have some banking features such as direct deposits and multiple loading methods, including cash loads and check deposits. So those are things you need to do to uh, gradually uh, rebuild yourself, rebuild your banking history, and within a year, you're good to go. All right, folks, this was it for today's conversation. I was talking to you about how to get up check systems and we talked, I gave you an overview. I spoke to you about requesting a report, disputing errors, confronting the bank, filing a complaint, being proactive and being financially responsible. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>